Hello, my friend. Cheers to you. I am almost done. Oh, shoo, oh no. Oh, I'm OCD. I have to go get a napkin real quick. Hold on. Oh, God. I'm back. Okay. I said that was quick. Jeez, Louise. I just wanted to share that I was drinking real coffee, delicious coffee, nourishing coffee, needed coffee. And I'm in a really good mood, despite this being a trying week for many reasons. I'm in such a good mood that I even sat down to watch a lot of Marlena Stell's hour and a half long beauty drama video, which is basically a rehash of the same video she made a year ago. If you don't remember, I do. She made another video just like that in August of 2018. This time, her truth addressed James Charles, Jaclyn Hill, and other beauty gurus whom I don't care about. But a lot of people on YouTube do. Um, I gotta be honest, I fast forwarded through a lot of it. I did watch a lot of it. She talked about her past, Jaclyn Hill, and blah, 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 and how she tried to help Jaclyn Hill in the past, and blah, 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 blah. Takeaway, I'm gonna surmise the Jaclyn Hill thing really briefly for you. And if you don't care about the beauty gurus, just fast forward, okay? Everybody in YouTube who collaborates with everybody else is basically just out to use the other person and screw that person. Um, well, not really, because Lizzie Snyder is coming to see me soon and she doesn't even have a thousand followers. She's using me and I'm happily letting her use me, right? I expect nothing back from this girl. It's truly just me being nice, good karma, and looking forward to it, thinking that I will enjoy it. And my time is precious. But yeah, she you know, takes full responsibility for not signing a contract with her in the past when they were trying to develop a line together. Yes, if your eye is curious, that is Kim Kardashian. There we go. All right, at least you can see some of her. Uh, she also talked about Jacqueline's recent drama, about the lab. It was like, I don't even care that much. Like It was so long and some of this stuff seems stale by now, like real old, but to Marlena's credit, the video has well over a million views, so good on you. <laughs> I still can't believe I started this video like I did. She also talks about James Charles and how he was N-A-S-T-Y to her. Basically, I'm done, I don't care. Um, if you care, go watch. It's like, I just refuse. I, I, I'll i watch up to a 30 minute video, okay? Maybe even 35, but an hour and a half? You have to be really invested in all of this. Thank God I fast forward it, but like, she talked about some other people that I had no, no idea who they even were, because that's not my world. Temptalia, Nicole Concillo, no clue. All right, what is my world are the Kardashians. And maybe they're not popping on the YouTube, but Instagram loves the Kardashians. <laughs> and today is Chloe's birthday. And I had this mischievous thought, not mischievous thought, I actually had a legitimate question. What do you think, my fram, on the comments? on the live chat or the comments below, let me know. Do you think that Tristan Thompson should wish Khloe Kardashian a happy 35th? 
clearly not, I think. But then again, she is the mother of his second child. Don't. Just don't. You've done enough! <laughs> Speaking of the Car Jenners, yesterday, Alex Rodriguez walked back his statements that when he was at the Met Ball with J-Lo, that Kylie Jenner, all she did was talk about her brand and how much money she's worth and making and blah, 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 blah. He said specifically, Kylie Jenner was talking about Instagram and her lipstick and how rich she is. Well, Kylie took to Twitter to clap back saying, um, no, I didn't. We only spoke about Game of Thrones. Then A-Rod shoved his tail between his legs and said, OMG, that's right, Kylie Jenner. It was me talking about you and your makeup line and how much my girls love you. Hashtag J-O-T, hashtag respect, hashtag all love. Hashtag A-Rod is lying now to cover things up because J-Lo scolded him because he needs to keep in line and not upset Kylie and the family for putting her on blast and exposing her for something that she really did. That's the T. Beep. Simple as that. I mean, A-Rod had no reason to make up what he said. Kylie had every reason to deny it because it makes her look bad. But does it even, does it even make her look that bad, does it? It just makes her look like what she is. Shallow and money hungry. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> All right. From Kylie Jenner to Britney Spears, major Britney news. Britney's father. I had to clean it again. Britney's father, Jamie Spears has sued a pivotal force in the Free Britney campaign. This blogger named Anthony Alia, who is the guy behind Absolute Britney, a blog. And Jamie Spears has sued this guy for defaming Britney's conservators. This guy has made allegations, right, uh, that Jamie Spears claims are not true. First of all, in this instance, I'm just gonna side with my vlog, my blog buddy. I don't even, I don't, I don't even know this guy, but. It seems to me like a transparent attempt to bully and silence this guy. And it seems lame to me. This move, I don't think will do much to quiet down the Free Britney movement. In fact, I think it'll have the opposite effect. But Britney's team insists that she has a lot of liberty and powers that she can drive, that she can have her own cell phone and wants this guy to cut it out. However, on the flip side, this guy, when he was making his claims, he said he didn't have information, that he just had a gut feeling. So isn't that expressing your opinion? Aren't opinions protected by the Constitution? God, I have... You know, being real healthy for an extended period of time is good for the skin. Although, I am still looking tired. But if I go back, if I move back, I don't look so tired. It's good lighting, too. I'm looking... I'm feeling good. I'm feeling better. Hallelujah. It's the coffee, too. It's the coffee. It's fake. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> I am feeling better. <laughs> I thought that was a BS move of Jamie Spears. All right, in more music-related news, 
Hi, Madonna has released her new music video for the song God Control, which is one of my favorites off her new album. It reminds me of Deeper and Deeper or the Confessions album. It's a disco song. Love it. The music video, however, for God Control is about gun control. And perhaps it was too effective in getting her message across because I could barely watch it. It was painful. I actually, I couldn't. I couldn't. I had to, like that Marlena video, I had to fast forward it because like yesterday I was also just feeling so bad with the passing of Beth Chapman. That kind of violent imagery and very realistic imagery throughout the Madonna video was not good for my soul. And... We need to protect our spirit and do whatever it is that we feel we need to to make our lives better and our hearts happier. Actually, I just read something that YouTube is now doing. If you come across a video that you don't like or a channel that you don't like, you can basically mute them. It's been rolled out in the app but not on the desktop, which is how I watch YouTube, because I'm old, and basically because I'm by my laptop all day. Um, I hope that they also implement the opposite in the future. Like, if you like a video or a channel, you know, you can, of course, turn on notifications, but it'd be great to, say, share with friends. I mean, you can do that with the community tab, but... While I use the community tab on YouTube regularly, I don't know if a regular YouTube user that's not a content creator is also using the community tab regularly. You know, a lot of people just subscribe to YouTube channels and don't upload content. But it'd be great for my fram to be able to share me in other ways. You already do. You're amazing. In more music video news, yesterday Cardi B broke the internet she released her music video for press and i was never really a big fan of the song but i love the music video i love that she's turning her videos into events which she can because she is the hottest female rapper in the game right now period dt exclamation mark period Period. She's spending the money in her videos and it's it's right there on the screen. Like the Madonna video, I didn't really care for the violent imagery. There was a lot of it, especially towards the end. But thankfully it wasn't throughout the entire video and it wasn't quite as realistic. It was more fashion violence, except for the very last scene. That was violent, violent. And um, I want to say this delicately because it's 2019 Perez and I do try to be better and do better. Cardi B is full on naked in her new music video and clearly putting her body on display so a lot of people are going to have opinions on her body and her boob job, which she just got retouched. And I'm, I'm hoping it makes her happy, but her boobs are rock hard and so far apart and so unnatural looking, but she may not have been going for natural. She probably clearly wasn't going for natural. Is it wrong to have an opinion on her boob job when she's displaying her body in such a way in a music video? Is it wrong to even be discussing this? Let me know in the comments section down below. And, uh, yeah. There was some girl on girl action that was hot. She alluded to her trial. Um, I liked it though, I liked it.
now I'm trying to decide. I was just having like a internal dialogue. Should I use my Kardashians bit or my Cardi B moment? I think I'm gonna talk about Cardi B because I talked about the Kardashians yesterday when I promoted my daily recap video. So the Cardi B clip it is. Um, let me move this. Let me keep evolving the look. I'm feeling good. Oh, this is almost better. Yes, girl. Yes, okay. Coming out tonight, Ariana Grande, Miley Cyrus, and Curveball, Lana Del Rey are releasing a new song as part of the Charlie's Angels soundtrack. I was tempted to do... You know what? Maybe... Oh, I think this is a good idea. I think I'll do a live reaction on my Instagram story, on my Instagram live, not on, um, or maybe Twitter. I'm trying to think. Maybe Twitter. Tw um, I gotta, uh, I'll figure it out. But I don't wanna do an in uh, 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 a music reaction video on YouTube, because that's like a lot of work to upload it there. Maybe I'll just do it on Instagram Live. No, or Twitter, whatever, I'll figure it out. Be on the lookout for it. Maybe Instagram Live, because I'm trying to grow that. There we go, I just decided. I'll do an Insta, no, I can't tomorrow. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, tomorrow. I was just gonna think about doing it tomorrow. Whatever, anyways, I'll figure it out. Maybe it won't even happen. <laughs> I forgot, I've got something. Anyways. I'm excited for this collaboration and fr from like a 10 second preview, it sounded good. I listened to the 10 second preview because I didn't think I was gonna do a music reaction. I'm still trying to figure out how I can do it. Tomorrow I have a busy day and tonight I have a busy night because I forgot I'm going to this event. On Tuesday I did this reading and tonight I have another reading and I'm just doing that because I'm thinking maybe it could lead to more ay, ay, ay. FOMO and anxiety. A lot of my decision making is ruled by fear and anxiety. Is it just me? Realness. In more music related news, Ariana Grande again she is returning to acting in a musical. Ariana is going to be starring in a new Netflix movie alongside Meryl Streep. Meryl Streep and Ariana Grande in a new musical, The Prom, based on the Broadway musical. And Ryan Murphy is going to be producing it and behind it. So I am stoked for that. More music news. I love talking music. Demi Lovato is teasing her upcoming album. She says, you know what's great about making an album? You get to say anything you want, be as open and honest as possible, and tell your side of the story regardless of who might not like it. Dope. I think, I think she's got a lot of inspiration for a lot of material. And then I randomly searched and saw that Demi Lovato is only 26 years old. She has lived quite the life at 26. Crazy. I think it's, you know, it'll be interesting to see if it does well. Demi's career has never been as hot as Selena's in the music world. I think she should return to acting in a sitcom and still do music, but I think the stability of a sitcom and maybe not going on tour for a while, that could be good for Demi. A sitcom. All right, from Demi Lovato to a lot of wacky news today, but before I get to Trisha Paytas and more wacky news. I need to give a shout out. I love doing shout outs and I love that I'm doing this now because I value you so much. Shout out to Tomston T. Yay. And thank you also not just to Tomston T, but to all of the dudes, my bro, bros, my bros. Uh, I love, you know, I, I get it. Most of my amazing 
and phenomenal followers are female, but I have a good amount of guys that are part of my fram too. So thank you, all of you. And also a hello and a hallelujah to Ananda Kite, Kate, Ananda Kate, C-A-I-T. I think that's Kate, like Caitlin. Ananda Kate, mwah, I love ya. All right, I yesterday mentioned Trisha Paytas. I came across something she said on Twitter. I had not checked her YouTube in a while. A lot of other people haven't either. Trisha's views are bleak. But I gotta give her props. She's been making good content lately. The wacky content, she made an entire video of just adult toys and promoting that. Get your money. Get it, get it, get it. No nips, no nips, but. <laughs> she made an entire video of adult toys and, um, Another video she made called Going Through drive throughs Dressed as YouTubers. Which, I don't really like that. <laughs> and then we'll just put it back down. Which was really cool. It was also, I had seen on her Instagram story that she was giving away cash to fans in Hollywood. And the payoff was really good. That was one of the best videos that I would say Trisha has ever made. It was also different kind of, a different kind of content. She had somebody film it for her and edit it and all of that jazz. Unless she edited it herself, which I don't think. But I'm too cheap. I am, I'm so cheap. I don't want to pay somebody to film me and edit me. Cheap bastard. I've cut back spending in everything. I don't have, you know, a video team. I don't have a publicist anymore. I got rid of my trainer. I got rid of my meal delivery. Maybe in the future, you know, anything is possible. Like I could partner, like, you know, my friends, Adrian Bailon, Adrian Bailong and Jeannie Mai, they both partnered with companies to create content for YouTube. That could be cool. Because then they could incur all the costs out of pocket, not me. Anyways, uh, go check that content out after you're done with my video. In other wacky news, some of the information that has come to light since the Chicago PD released m more evidence in their case against Jesse Smollett, he in addition to texting those two brothers about obtaining Molly, AKA MDMA, AKA ecstasy, he also was talking to them about erotic massages. Ew. Some dudes are into that, I am not. I like that if it's with a partner or, or, or like a, hookup, but not when I'm getting a massage. Like I like to get massages for therapeutic relaxation reasons. And that's why I always, always get a woman to massage me. Like I will not have a man do it because I don't even want to worry about possibly getting a row. In other wackadoodle news, speaking of women, I read, and I'm going to talk about this in the podcast because I'm curious to, I would love to do a little back and forth. You know, I'm tempted to do live videos on YouTube, but every time I've tried doing it live, the quality isn't great when it lives on YouTube after the fact. So what else? This is sort of live. I'm live chatting with everybody on YouTube during the premiere. Um, but tune into the podcast Next one, or no, the, the, yeah, on next week. We just had one come out today. Check that out, by the way. My latest podcast is out now. You can listen at PerezPodcast.com. The Perez Hilton Podcast with Chris Booker, also available on Apple Podcasts. A new study finds that a third of women only date men 
because of the free food. Is that true? And then does that mean they'll eat a lot? They'll eat extra? They'll take some to go? Like, are they, are they that hungry that they'll waste their time on some dude? So many questions. Part of me doesn't believe that's true. Is that really true? Weird. Anywho, in other news, a lawsuit against the Church of Scientology by a woman who used to work for the head of Scientology, David Miscavige. She's identified as Jane Doe and she alleges some major things. Child abuse, human trafficking, forced labor against her and other Scientologists that are no longer part of Scientology. And there are other unnamed correspondents that are also um, going to be part of this trial. Maybe this is the straw that broke Scientology's back, possibly, perhaps. Uh, I doubt it. Scientology has been sued so many times and they have yet to have their church status revoked. It's a cult. It's a cult. I said it. I'm not afraid of Scientology. Ay, ay, ay. In other news, wacky news, Robin Thicke and his fiance April Love Geary recently posted on Instagram giving their 16-month-old daughter hot Cheetos. Would you do that? I mean, that's like my daughter's age. I wouldn't give my daughter hot Cheetos. But then again, I would give her cake. The cake is a little more natural, right? You know what? I don't care. Not my child. Not my problem. Do I think they're abusing the child? No. Do you? In more wacky news, Felicity Huffman is handling everything in the media so well with relation to her major screw-up. Lori Lachlan should hire her crisis PR person. Felicity Huffman says that she is hopeful through sources. She didn't go on the record as saying that. She is hopeful that she'll avoid prison time and is even floating out there a possibility of going and spending her time at a halfway house. I mean, and she would only serve four months anyways and likely would get out after two months. I don't even think she deserves time, to be honest. I like to be honest. I always keep it honest. In other news, wacky news, I'll sip my imaginary tea. The British media is working overtime to create drama between Meghan Markle and Kate Middleton because things are kind of boring over in the UK and well between them. So the latest story is... Issues between Meghan Markle and Kate Middleton, reportedly the reason for royal charity split. Or it just makes sense that they are their own couples and they want their own things, you know? They split Instagrams, they should split their own charities, right? That seems like much ado about nothing to me. In other wacky news... From the UK to I J J Rosanna Pancino. She's a very popular YouTuber. I really like her. She does this channel called Nerdy Nummies or these videos. Um, a cooking YouTuber. She was hospitalized after a major internal infection 
that she got from a bacteria, a rare aggressive bacteria, she claims. Ajajai. So she's been ordered to have a lot of rest and just sending her positive healing vibes. And let's end things with some real positive news. Mindy Callen celebrated her 40th birthday recently with $40,000 worth of donations that she made to some charities in her birthday celebration. And I thought that was really awesome of her and a great way to pay it forward. And you know what? Instead of asking you to do anything for me, I will ask you today to pay it forward somehow, inspired by Mindy Callen. Whether that be collaborating with somebody, uh, leaving a little present or so, doing something nice for somebody else, donating money to something. If you wanna donate a dollar or two dollars in my name for something, that'd be cool. But let's spread some awesome sauce today because we are awesome sauce. I love you. Mwah!